Hey everyone, it is Natalie from Being Intentionally Creative. and I'm just looking at my battery power on my camera to make sure whether I should plug it in or not. And I know, I said I was going to always plug it in because I didn't want to have to run out of battery power. I believe it was last year I had made this piece and it's supposed to be a soap dish. And in my infinite wisdom, I was making it with a Halloween theme behind it. I put some really cool looking skulls inside of it. I put, if I can find them, show you this one, some bones. And there were other things I put in. And I put in some of these freaky flies that I picked up at Michael's. And that was last year. They, they have them this year, I believe, just in case you're looking or wondering where I got them. I got these from Michael's. They're an Ashland product. Now enough of the advertising world for you. When I made this, my intentions were pretty, were pretty clear on what I was going to be doing. But then I decided to start adding some things to this that I shouldn't have. So I had my pieces placed in. So for example, you know, this very cool looking skull would have been, you know, in the side here maybe, and I'd have my flies in certain spots. And then I got a little bit greedy with coloring. And you can see, you can see three quarters of the stuff I put inside. Now I know the texture on this would make it a bit challenging to see through anyway. And as you know, if I got some pieces on the top here, that would have been great. But I, then I started adding color. Have you ever done that? Like you're going great guns and you're going in the back of your head and probably aloud you're saying, don't put in X because if you do, you're going to mess this up. And that's exactly what I did. You couldn't, yeah, it was kind of a pointless piece because you couldn't see anything. And I, I don't know if I kept it, what I did with it. And I'm not going to go searching for it just in case I don't have it anymore. This year I want to do another one. And this year I want to do it right. I don't want, I'm not putting I'm putting glitter in it. I will, I will commit to glitter. If I put coloring in, I think what I want to try and do is maybe, maybe what I could do is use some of my UV resin because then I can better adjust or keep the color where I want it versus having mixed it in with resin and drizzling it over. I swear it just, it just went wrong. It went wrong. It went wrong. It went wrong. Anyway, what I'm going to do in this video is we're going to do this again. I have a bucket. See of there's other things besides Halloween in here, but for the most part, this is just strictly Halloween stuff. And I'm going to incorporate some of these pieces in here. I'm going to sort of step off camera. I'm going to figure out what I need, where pieces would go, because I'm going to have to do it strategically in, you know, sort of, Okay, this piece, for example, and I think this piece, well, maybe it doesn't glow in the dark. I know there's some of these pieces <laughs> they are going to glow in the dark, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I'm just going to sort of figure out, okay, well, maybe you'll go there. And maybe I'll just drop some bones down the side, making sure that I put them the right way down. Not that it would matter, really matter. And then get some flies in there and whatever else I might have. I'll show you what we're going to put in as we do it. And we're going to, we're going to do it in, um, we're going to layer it. So we'll do a little bit. I don't want to sort of get it all full of resin and then try and hope that these pieces are going to stick where I want them. Some of them will be heavy enough, but some may float and I don't want that. The other thing I'm considering doing with some of these is, so for example, oh, this guy looks so wickedly cool, is filling their eyes with something. Um, I Right now I have a fascination for whatever reason with red and just wanting to do eyes and my skeletons uh, just like red. I don't know why. Don't know why. But I thought red would be kind of cool in some of the eyes. Or, you know, whatever color sort of floats my boat. But this is what we're going to be working on. I'm going to go take off now. I'm going to sort of sift through, see what I can find, what works. Like I'm even looking at these roses uh, that I made. And thinking these would be kind of cool because of the coloring of them. I'm going to go away. I'm going to pick some stuff out. I don't want it too jam-packed, but I want a nice selection and variety of sort of 
spooky Halloween uh, in this. If I could, if I could throw one of these little cauldrons in here, oh, I think that'd be so wickedly cool. Well, maybe I can. Oh, that might be a little too big. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to take you through this and I'm probably going to end up doing something with the eyes, but I will make sure uh, that I let you know what I do with the eyes if, when I come back. So I'll see you in a bit. I love that it is only seconds for you when I disappear. For me, it is more than seconds. I have been playing around with some of my Halloween pieces that I have. I've made a couple of them since I started this video and some I've just added some effects to. So let me sort of show you, I've got quite the selection and I know I'm not going to be using all of these pieces in, like this is just some of them. So I also have this loaded with some Halloween pieces and, and they're basically repeats of what's on here and that's why they're in here. I needed something to put them in but I've got a, a wealth of different things. So let me take you through some of my pieces and sort of my well, not my thought process, I'm just playing, really. We have some of these little uh, rest in peace tombstones that I thought would be kind of cool. So my idea with them and how this all works out again may change was to take this tree, which I use some PBO on and one of the chrome markers to kind of make it look a little um, sickly, if you will, sickly, eerie, I've got a couple of stars that I've put some of the Astro Paste by Simon Hurley on. And I wanted to sort of have a section where you had the tree with some of the tombstones around it. Uh, because we're going with a sort of Halloween skull type thing, I thought that would be kind of cool. So that's my logic for those pieces. Obviously, we have our skulls. This one, I have added a fly uh, into the eye. And I put some of the PBO lemon on the wings. And then I put some of the Simon Hurley Astro Paste on it to give it the glitter. So hopefully you can see that. And it's got one of its legs right in the eye. And I also attached this leg here and then I put some on the nose of it as well. I don't know if they have noses but that's the best I can do for you. These other flies I put some uh, glitter and they've got some glass pieces on them. I have a couple of these skulls. These are for necklaces but I've used them in pieces before so I thought these might be cool just sort of placed I don't know where. This guy, I I have the concept, and whether it's going to work or not, I don't know, is I thought I would put him right in the center. And I don't, like, again, I don't know if this is going to work, if he's too thick. Um, yeah, he might be. He's going to be too thick, isn't he? Darn. I was thinking he'd look really cool sort of place, but he may be just, like, unless I get him right level. He may be up too high because of his nose. Yep. I was thinking he might sit down there, but I I don't know if this is going to work. I Because I thought he'd be kind of cool. And the only other thing I could do is, but that wouldn't, like it doesn't really make sense to have, that you would have to flip it over and see him on the bottom. So he might not work. I added the eyes for effect on him, but yeah, that might not work now because his nose is pushing him up too high. So we'll have to see because technically I would want resin in that before I put, I don't know if that's going to work or not. But anyways, that was an idea. So I'll put him off to the side because he may not work. I have these spiders. I got these uh, at Michael's, I think last year, or the, or did I get these at the dollar store? I can't remember. And then I put a little bit of the Astro paste on these guys as well. I'm going to put some of the red on these. I've already put some of the neon purple on the wings. I'm going to put some of the red on just to give it some sparkle. Apparently I need that in this piece. I have roses and I have the bones and I have some small skull heads and then this. 
again this is a necklace piece that I actually thought I would use somehow around uh, the rest in peace spots and then I I recently got this mold from Timu this has I mean these are I love how these look and I thought these would be perfect in it so of course I have I have way too much I get that but I wanted to have a nice selection so I could kind of build on it without making it I, I don't want to I'm gonna say tacky I don't want it to look tacky but I want it to have enough that you know it's sort of the theme around it and some pieces may not get added in and that's totally fair the neon needs to dry a little bit but that's okay I got time for that I thought this guy was really cool uh, because of his like just the blue like I just thought he would be cool the other thing I want to do is I have from our collection rainbow flakes and there's a nice selection of color in here I want to take some of these and I just want to, and I say random and I do mean random I'm thinking about taking some of those and putting them so up like in like just in a couple of spots around this just to give it a little bit more of something something I haven't decided whether I'm going to put any any stones in these yet or not I don't want it to be too heavy and I don't know whether I want to because I things have gotten lost when I put stones in before so I'm not sure so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all this stuff now that you kind of have a idea of what I want to include in this I just want to get these off to the side without dumping everything everywhere and I've been finding the astro paste and the pastes in general they dry extremely quickly so just be be aware if you're going to use them that they dry really quickly so let me just put these carefully off to the side there we go and again I'm not going to use all these pieces I can't obviously because it would just be too loaded and I don't know again I'm gonna have to see if yeah I don't know that I'm gonna get him in there it's technically supposed to be a her but it looks totally like a him yeah I don't I don't know anyway it's not a big deal if I can't I'll find some other place to put that because I think it turned out really nicely those off to the side okay so now what I want to do is we're going to put some of this in here and I found that with this stuff uh, I'm trying to think of what I can put it into because 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 I don't want I wonder if I can do it on these I don't want a lot and I don't want to try you know that when you take these out usually you got big chunks and I don't want big chunks I don't want big chunks so hopefully I can do this without making too much of a, a mess. And like I say, I just want them randomly, oops, randomly placed. And I guess if I get them stuck in other places, well, and they get stuck in other places don't they so I'm gonna just unfortunately I'll show you what I get done when I, once I have it done and I'm just using one of my makeup brushes to put these in I'm not, not doing anything fancy here and I was trying to find like a smooth surface I could put these onto that it wouldn't stick like if I put it on a silicone mat it's just gonna stick to there isn't it so maybe I might get lucky that if because it's on paper that uh, more else to get stuck somewhere else right the paper that I can pick it up easy enough if you have any other plans I know somebody uh, it was a while ago they had when you have the sheets of it that you you sort of cut it up into pieces I don't want the stick in me it won't stick to my fingers which would be brilliant that you cut it up into small little pieces and work with it versus trying to put a big piece down at once 
which is a good idea too. And it's because yeah, yeah, just this stuff ends up everywhere. And it makes it, um, yeah, I think if it gets stuck different places, it's going to get stuck different places. That's just the way it's going to be, people. And I'm sure some of it might float around when I'm actually putting my resin in. I'm hoping to get a variety of color. I'm getting more sort of the copper colors than I am anything else. <laughs> it's just flying. <laughs> oh well. It says stuff does what it wants to do. Eh? I just thought it might be nice to give it a little bit of color around the piece. You know, nothing, nothing, nothing. I just, I just wanted, I thought it might be nice. I'm kind of surprised I'm not getting it on here a little bit better. But anyway. Hopefully it doesn't float. I'm kind of surprised it's not sticking to the silicone better than it is. And I don't want to be, I mean, I could see mixing some of this in with the resin when I sort of final, final coat it. That might work as well because it won't matter. All the pieces will be in. But I'm definitely getting like tiny flakes of it. I'm not really getting, um, yeah, I'm not sort of getting it the way I wanted it. So if you have any suggestions, please comment below. All right. Let's get this last little bit in. I'm hoping you can see all this well enough without my hands getting in the way. The long weekend is almost upon us, so I'm curious to know if you've got any plans. I'm not sure what I'm up to. There's not going to be, I think my husband may be working Sunday night. And so, yeah, I don't really have any, I don't have any plans as such for the weekend. And the kids go back, to, well, here in Ontario, the kids go back to school on Tuesday. And I'm sure that excites them to no end. <laughs> Actually, I think I enjoy going back to school. I lived in the, I grew up in the country and it was always, you know, I didn't have a, I had one close friend down the road and then she moved when I, what, when I went into grade six, uh, she moved into town. So yeah, I really didn't have any like close by friends out in the country. The animals were my friends. I used to love going and sitting out in the field with the animals. It was so peaceful to me. And if I sat very quietly, especially around the cattle, they'd actually come over and check me out, which I loved. I thought that was so neat. You just sit very quietly and you just wait for them to come up and check you out. And they would. They always came and checked me out. It's like, uh, yeah, who's this, uh, who's this person in our field? You know, but it, it was cool. I loved that. That I did love. Okay, so I've got some random pieces here. And we'll just put you there. It doesn't matter. And then maybe what I will do at the very end is use some of this in my resin sort of to top up the bottom of it. Yeah. Some random. So this is really, like I, like I say, I'm surprised. Uh, that this hasn't stuck more and I I'm trying to remember if people have suggested using the mold release or something like that to I'm gonna put that down because I don't want to knock it over uh, to like spray in and then put this stuff down so it sits better but I think that's not too bad a little bit of color what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up my my resin and I'm only going to do about 50 mils or so 
because I just right now I just want to get enough to sort of start the process of I'm gonna need to let some of these pieces sit and get set in place before I add more resin so I'm gonna say I'm gonna make up about 50 mils it does have some sort of dips and valleys in it so I'll try and get my resin where I want but let me go mix up about 50 mils we'll come back we'll start pouring we'll start placing and this is going to be kind of a it's going to be a layering type of piece I'm hoping three layers max on this no more but I just want to sort of give those pieces like time to sort of set in place and then we will we will carry on I'll see you once I have my resin Put together. I actually made about 60 mils of resin and give me a second please because I have to plug in my camcorder and try not knocking it over at the same time. I meant to do this before I started and I forgot. There we go. Done. Done, done, and done. Right. I mixed about 60 mils of resin. And we're going to take some of that and we're going to pour it in the bottom of this to start. Now, it does have bubbles in it, but that's okay. This is the Magic Resin Art and Craft. And I know the bubbles will dislodge themselves. And it's a Halloween piece. So, and part of me goes, and I'm cool with air bubbles. Right? Halloween, air, mystery, you know. I don't want to use it all and the reason I don't want to use it all is because I would like to have some of it to put my pieces in before I put them into the mold just so I can get them coated which we've done before and then lessen the possibility of potential air bubbles I mean I know I'm gonna get them I, I don't ever have sort of a you know, oh well, we're never we're not going to get any air, we're not going to get any air bubbles. I'm not really sure how when you're putting pieces into anything you can avoid that. And I think it, I've I've seen some people comment they've done pieces for people, you know, and then the people have commented that there's too many air bubbles, and it's like you have any idea that, you know, this it happens. You're you're putting something into the the mold that you know, can trap air bubbles. I, I think sometimes people have to do in order to truly understand uh, the process. I mean, you can explain it to them. And I, I think the other thing is you almost need to say, go watch some videos. Because I, I don't think there's any way, I really don't think there's any way not to have air bubbles in anything. Um, I mean, I know people have got the extractors and whatnot, but I, like, I still don't even know if you, you're totally bubble free on that. You get, you know, micro bubbles or something like that. You know, it's part of the process. It is part of the process. So let me just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. And I tell you, it was a little hard not putting any color in that. But I know from past experience that that'd be a really bad idea. Bad, 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 bad. All right, so where are we going to start? And it's a good thing this isn't a fast cure because I would be in trouble. Um, I'm thinking I want to start with some of these guys first. So I think, I mean, the resin and all that, but that's, you know, whatever. Let's just dip them in and let's just cover them up, you know, to the best. And just so that when they go in, now we have to remember, we have to place these upside down. Now I know I don't have resin all over this guy. Resin over here and onto my whatchamacallit. I still don't have resin on all over this guy. There we go. I think I got them now, pretty much. And then we'll just start placing pieces in, you know, somewhat randomly. I'm trying to think. I guess it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I don't think it really matters in some regard how these pieces go. It's not a flat piece, which makes it more interesting. I definitely want. I definitely want some of my roses in here. I got a good, good handle on that one. And we can move these around. Again, we're dealing with resin that's going to set in 24 hours. So we have some time to play a little bit. 
Not a lot, but we have time. And like I said, I want I want them so if I can angle them, that's great. And I hope you can see. I I want you to be able to see. Like I just I kind of want to try and get them into some places where you'll be able to see them. And do 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 do. This is this is where the labor intensive is going to come into it a little bit. Uh, just because, well, just because. Put a red and black skull head in this. And I'm going to let him sit in there just a little bit longer, only because of the eyes and the, and the cavities in the eyes, because some of these are pretty deep. And I just want to make sure that they are, you know, covered well. I think I'm just going to place you right down in here and let you go upside down. And I'm just, I'm lifting them up. I put them down and then I lifted them up a little bit just in case, you know, we do get a little bit of an air pocket under that. I don't know if that's going to make any difference. I really don't. And I'm thinking I want another one of my rest in peace. I'm going to take a different colored one. So this guy here. So this is all I'm going to end up doing. And I, I don't know whether to keep you here and just, you know, let you sit and watch me randomly throw pieces in or... That's what you're never sure of. Or I'm not. I think to myself, okay, how much do people really want to see? If you're someone who's new to resin, you're probably going, can I, can you just do everything? Do you have to, you know, cut out? But I, you know, I don't want the video four hours long either. I don't mind spending four hours doing it, but I don't want you to have to go through four hours of <clears throat> watching me do a video. Now, I'm wondering about my tree here. I don't know. He may have to go in another layer as I knock you out of place. I don't know. I have to think about him a little bit because... Um, I gotta make sure he goes in so that he's not sticking out. I think I'm gonna have to leave this guy for another layer. Because I don't know that I'm gonna be able to. Unless I just. Okay, I got, a, I got an idea. Here's hoping this works for me, people, because if it doesn't, I just got a tree covered in resin. Got an idea though. I has got an idea. And there may be, so I've done some skulls before where I've ended up with pieces that are sort of sticking out and there's holes in the resin and I don't care because it makes it look eerie. And again, it's part of the process of, you know, sometimes pieces stick up and the resin doesn't get everywhere. So what I'm going to do with this tree is I am going to carefully just place him in the corner here. There's some spots where he can kind of sit. Oh, not really. I'm trying to get him so that he's up. Come on. My tweezers, I need you to work for me. I'm trying to get him up. I have to use my, oh, and I'm pushing my tombstone right where I don't want it. So bear with me here. I just want to get my tree so it's sort of, it's sort of just sitting there. Hopefully it'll stay there. That's where I'm going to have to be careful of air bubbles. Um, and I'm hoping that some of the resin will slide to the back so that it holds the tree in place as it's sort of setting. I think we'll be okay, but you know, again, we'll have to see. Now I had thought of some stars on this as well around the tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my stars. Uh, da, 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 against another one. Do you put them in now or later? But apparently I'm putting them in now. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and I'm going to flip them. I'm going to put one right here. And put one right there. 
and I might put the other one somewhere else. I want I really want to get one of these pumpkins in here. I think these I think these guys look pretty pretty funky. Eerily funky. And I think I'm just gonna put him right there. Ah, see? Yeah, I'm moving things now. I have to I'm gonna have to work with my my tree is not but if I you know what, if my tree stays where it is right now, we'll be okay. As long as he doesn't move anymore. So when you're doing something like this, the tip's going to be, be very careful as you're placing things in because one thing, if you move your mold, then it, it has the potential of dislodging something else. So I'm just going to give you that little tip. Just be aware of that, that if you're not careful, you can sort of, yeah, push the mold and and something gets moved. Now, where are we going to do next? We are, I want one of, I definitely want my fly guy in here. <laughs> I mean, how can you not put that piece in? I mean, seriously, how can you not? So let's get him covered. Oops, here, just go on in, go on in. And I mean, I've got this, so I might as well use the resin, right? She gets stuck to the bottom of the darn thing. <laughs> Get on. Oh, too funny. No, I, I think I got him now. And I'm going to put him, I'm going to let him slide down just like that. And go like that. Kind of get it so it's, that would sort of stay there. That would be brilliant. See? Okay, so resin, obviously, very slick, very slippery. And what I might do, the other thing I might do is... Um, there we go. That might work. Okay. Come in a little later, uh, as this has had, you know, a couple hours to sit, to, you know, if I have to sort of maneuver things around a little bit, I might. I just really hope you're not up too high. I think I'm going to have to... Yeah, I have to get my tree back where it was. I just don't want, and I know my star is moving. Yeah. Okay. Got to get a better hold on this guy. Yeah, that might have to. That might have to be the way it works. Because I just, and he's sitting on that now. All right. I want some more of my roses in. That I definitely want because I really like my roses. <laughs> yeah, so this is all I'm sort of planning on doing is doing the random. Now I'm going to have to be really careful too when I pour more resin in. I think what I might do is go from the top and let it slide down the sides. So it hopefully, hopefully, hopefully doesn't dislodge things too, too much. And again, I may have to come back to this and rearrange just to get things where I want them to be. Now this guy, I want to drop him right down. This is the white cross. I want to get it right down underneath the tree. So I'm just going to let him slide down there. Oops. Okay. Actually, if he sits there, that'll be kind of cool. <laughs> oh, this is going to be one funky looking piece. All right. Now, we definitely need to put bones into this. I, I think it would be a shame not to have bones in my in my piece. And I think because of them being, you know, solid and flat, I'm just going to drop one of them in here. And then I've got these guys glow in the dark. I know they do. Uh, how about one of these guys? Well, maybe 
coat him, maybe. Oops. Resin is slippery stuff, isn't it? Put you in there on top of the other one. I know I have some tiny, tiny roses here. These, these are such pretty flowers. I want to make earrings out of them. And I got to decide if I'm going to put a, a snake, a spider and or a bat. And I just want you to slide right down in there. There you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'm thinking about my placement because I want to make sure you can see what I put in. I need some flies in here. I need some flies. Flies I want. Flies I want. Because they're pretty... They're pretty cool looking, I think, anyway. This is going to be a long video, I think. And maybe we'll put you in here. Right by that other skull. We'll move him over a little bit so the fly can, can get down there. And I need... I guess say it's kind of a what do you put in next sort of idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put hopefully this rest in peace will fit in in this one spot. I kind of got left. They're cool pieces. There we go. He'll be fine. Oh yeah, hit the star. Stay star, stay. Do you do that? Do you talk to yourself and tell things? Just stay where you are. Don't move. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I think the spiders look really cool. What do I do with my other spider? Oh, there he is. He's sitting on, he's sitting on top of the pumpkin. I'm wondering. I don't really want to move this either. That's my other thing. I don't want to move it because I'm concerned if I do. There you go, fit there. That, um... This is where the lazy is, because then you could move it around and you could move it around. And I know I'm going to have to put my other glasses on. And I'm trying to think. I have, like, I have this big red skull here, but I don't know that they're going to, I'm concerned they're going to be too big. I don't, I don't know whether I'd be better off just putting a spider in it. Yeah, they're gonna that's gonna be too big. Not too big, but awkward and right beside the fly, so that's probably well. Spider would eat a fly now, wouldn't it? There's that too, right? Spiders like flies. So I've got red. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this guy. So I'm going to take this skull, drop it in my resin, and I'm, I'm not going to drop it, and I'm going to put him down here. I 
and I'm hoping I'm trying to think do I want them head down or neck down I think I want them head down so I'm just gonna no nah, I'm gonna use my fingers because so I can get I'm sort of where I want to right down there without trying to dislodge too much of anything right that's my big thing right now is now I really don't want to dislodge anything I had been thinking about stones uh, for these as well oh and my cross fell over of course it did you know what I'm gonna leave this I'm not gonna tell you if something's moved I'm gonna trust in its having moved because it'll fill in a space it's not you know sort of messing with anything else so I'm gonna leave it I thought about putting some stones in now I know I've done that before and messed things up but again they would be just sort of randomly placed uh, just to add a little bit of I don't know what to my piece I'm not sure what color stone if I were gonna do that I'm tempted to take my other star and sort of drop it down in this corner because it would fit down by the fly the fly skull piece. So let's do that. Let's take him. It's a small enough piece to fit in there. And I'm going to have to turn him around because I want the glitter. Uh, I'm just going to slide down and I just as long as the glitter is showing the right way up that's all I care about and I can see an air bubble in this pumpkin so I'm going to see if I can't there we go that's gone I've got another one this pumpkin piece has um some really intricate spots in it so I'm not surprised I'm getting air bubbles on that I don't have a spider I don't have a bat but you know what I think I am just gonna get I'm gonna grab some stones but I'll do that in a minute because I know the stones will sink and you don't need to see that that can be a surprise uh, maybe toward the end that you get to see what I put in it I don't yeah I don't think I want to put anything else in it at this time I'll just get some some random stones and I'll just drop them in and just a few so my trees kind of sitting nicely um, I'm gonna have to be really careful pouring this in so let's just see if I can pour in really carefully and not dislodge anything that's going to be the trick now so if I have to go up and around things then that's what I'm going to do and hope 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 that I don't sort of dislodge I, I want to stay I really want to stay away from my tree because it's already sort of done shifts a couple of times and we don't want any more of that so we'll and we know the resin's going to just sort of flow where it wants to so I just I need to keep this up and I need to just do it slow and this is where patience comes in so my rose wants to move but that's okay I want this one rose to stay exactly where it is I'm gonna get some resin going down around this these two skulls at the end here some around my pumpkin yeah the small little roses want to move and may end up floating up and there's you know that's fair hope you're finding this mesmerizing it's kind of it's kind of what it's doing for me I'm just gonna put some resin on top of this red skull I've got over here I think what I, I've got some red uh, stay away from that Natalie I've got some red stones and because we're sort of got red going on I think I'll throw some of them in here 
I have purple too, but I don't really have anything that's purple, so I don't really see the sense of doing purple. I think that I love the fly in, in the uh, skull eye. I think mean, that's kind of cool. Now, I have to look up to see if I remember how much uh, resin this piece took because I can't really remember. I, I Hopefully I wrote it down. So, and I'll leave this for a couple of hours just so it can start to set. And then I'll, ha I'll have to see if I'm going to uh, like I, as I'm drizzling this resin here, I'm thinking about do I drizzle some colored or do some UV resin. I mean, I, UV resin would probably be the better, but I, you know, the problem is, is now that, you know, we've got this set, is, you know, getting it to, getting it to set. I mean, cause I can't, I can't move this puppy now, you know, three or four hours from now, I might be able to move it, but yeah, right now I can't. And I might, as much as I don't like doing it, spray some alcohol in this just to get some of these air bubbles gone. Not a lot of resin left in the bottom of this. So I probably made a good amount. And if I do regular resin with color, I'm going to have to really, really, really be careful. Because like I say, I, I don't want a repeat of what I did the last time I made this this way in coloring. And like I said, the color took over. Okay, so my pumpkin has, again, it's got some air bubbles. I think I am going to take, I'm going to put some stones in here. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. I need to move my little skull here because he's in the way of my fly. <laughs> That's no fun. And although, although, I will put it back. So everything's not symmetrical, eh? Being on a bit of an angle may not be a bad thing, so we'll just do that. My star is sliding, but my tree's being pushed in at the bottom there, so that's good. My cross, yeah, you're fine. My flowers, I'm fine with. So yeah, I'll, I'll throw a, a few stones in, just in a couple of places. Not a lot, not a lot, because again, I don't want the same thing happening that the stones overtake. You know, I've got a couple of sp a space here for a couple, maybe over there. I'm not sure I'm going to put anything there around my cross, my bones. And maybe back here by my skull and my fly. So I'm going to let you go. You've uh, listened to me far longer than you may have wanted to. But hey, my video, I get to do what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to spray some uh, alcohol on this to get rid of some of the air bubbles, but I'll do that after my stones are dropped in. And when we're ready to proceed with the next layer, hopefully things have, you know, within two or three hours, we'll come back and we'll do another, another clear layer, um, debating whether or not to put any more in it or just sort of get it filled up near the top. And then I guess the potential could be to take some of these pieces and instead of putting them down like that, uh, you know, leave them upright. I don't know. That I don't know about. Um, and I, like I said, I'd really like to get Buddy in here, but I don't know that... I don't know. I don't know, and he may be too big of a piece anyway. Anyway, I'll think about that and... I'll see you in a little bit. I'm back for the next section of our endeavor with this piece. I am just uh, throwing some of this glitter in here. I've also put in some of the rainbow flakes that I had 
put in on the sides of the silicone piece when we initially started. I didn't put any stones in this piece, even though I said I was going to. I have to retract that. I did not do that. I actually put in a couple more pieces to sort of fill in some of the gaps. They weren't many. We were we were doing pretty good. And and then I had to figure out, okay, so what are you going to do next? I'm not going to attempt to put in the piece that I had thought would go right in the center of it. Uh, he's too big. I think it's going to look all wonky if I do that. So I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to slowly bring this back a little bit. What I decided on doing, I had cut out a couple of pieces using one of my dies and I I came up with pieces that looked like this and I thought of pu putting these upside down and I went, nah, not sure I want to do that. And then I cut something else out and I thought, nah, that's not going to work. So this is sort of one of those pieces where it's, I'm looking to find the right thing and I'm not sure I'm really finding the right thing, but hopefully when we take this out, it'll be okay. What extra pieces did I put in? Well, I put one of the bats in. I put the gold and the silver really small skull heads in over here. I was going to put another rose in over there and I went no because I didn't want it interfering with the one that was already there. Uh, I think that's it. I think all I did were the two small skulls and the bat. I actually think that's all I did. Oh, I was going to try and put a spider in, but I think where I, they would have had to have gone too big back in the corner where the tree is is where a bat could have gone or down in here like you're really limited I could have had it it go in here you needed the right spot for it. anyway going above and beyond more with explanations you don't really need okay we have flakes in here we have some sparkle in here not a lot not a lot and we're going to take moss I have this, it's called black. I'm calling this gray. My gloves are black. That's gray. And then I have sort of a selection of moss here. I really like how these pieces look. So I'm going to take some of those and put them out. And we're just, we're going to very carefully, as to the best of my ability, we are going to sort of not shove it in too much we're just kind of going to place it around now what i want to do in order to get some of these this sparkle as well and i might pour a little bit in first but i want to take the moss and i want to put it in here again to sort of help with bubbles to get it saturated so it sort of it sort of flows i don't yeah i think that'll be the easiest thing so let's pour a little bit this is 100 mils and we'll pour some over top of this tree this isn't set, obviously. I mean, it hasn't been long enough to set, but it's enough, I think, for me to be able to carry on with this and get it, you know, carry carry on. Some of the back of that skull. And the front of the pumpkin. And my hands are in the way. Yep, I know. I know, I know, I know. We'll just we'll drizzle some of this around. It, it, it's going to float where it wants to float, which is fine, but I just figure it might be beneficial to have it so I can stick the the moss sort of down onto things. That's sort of my plan. I don't know how full we're going to get with the 100, and I'm probably I'm going to say I might well it depends on whether I'm going to put color for the bottom layer if I'm going to put color I'm going to have to let this sit for another couple hours before I attempt to do that so we'll just so it has a little bit so we'll have some of the you know the foil what's it called again flakes the rainbow flakes will be showing up in some of this sort of randomly which is kind of what I wanted again I didn't want to overdo like I've done before okay so I think what we're gonna start with 
are some of these. And hopefully I can get them out without making too much of a mess. Knocking, you know, things off. Oh, I was just going to place it in there, right? Okay, so let's put this in here. I'm finding my back is very uncomfortable on the chair I'm sitting in. It's a gaming chair, and I like it, but every once in a while, and it's, I'm going to say it's probably not even the, the chair's fault. It's, uh, there's probably a whole bunch of different things that are at play when it comes to my back being sore, but I think one thing I am going to do in addition to this, I'll just put that over there. So I'm gonna, I've got a blanket on the chair. I'm gonna move it before I carry on. I know way too much information for you, but hopefully that'll help with me sitting back down better into the chair. Okay. So hopefully these pieces will kind of add to the overall experience Experience. Maybe we'll do that like that. Of how this piece turns out at the end of the day. And I want to kind of keep those down. Not that it matters because I can always sand the, the bottom of it when I'm done. So that's not a big deal. And I don't want that big clump there. <laughs> that's not what I want. Actually, maybe we'll leave it like that. Okay. It's kind of interesting how it's going from this, from the brown color it was to this kind of interesting green. I find that very fascinating that as it's gotten wet that it's actually turned green. And I think the other good thing about having the first bit set a little bit is that this stuff will sit on top of and won't won't end up covering the pieces that are already there. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure you get what I mean. So I'm going to turn that and get that out of, out of the way. I need. I need something else to help flip this. And I'm going to put down because I like the the dark piece, but it just. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to cut that off of there. I don't like how it's sitting. I want it to kind of, I don't know if I can get this to flatten out. I like the, so the dark that's underneath there and I want to capture that. I do it like that. I don't know how that's going to play out for me um, when all is said and done, but we'll see. If it has to move or it moves, that's there. Sorry, I have to get <laughs> get that sticky stuff off of my scissors because I don't want it to harden. And I'm going to end up this bag, the, this gray. I'm going to end up the other bag. I like I like how it looks. I just love the look of it. All right, let's get these three pieces in and see where we can place them. All right. So have any of you done, are any of you doing Halloween pieces? Anything fun like that? Or are you, um, it's more simplified. I love doing pieces like this just because they challenge me to see what, you know, ideas and whatnot I can come up with. But it's not everybody's cup of tea, which I totally understand. But are you doing anything like this? Or is this, you know, and if you're a newbie, I mean, that it doesn't mean you can't. I mean, most definitely, you know, if you want to challenge yourself by all means, um, but I'm just curious if anyone else is, I think these pieces are too big. Yuck. Anyways, are you doing anything? As I interrupt my conversation with you for comments like yuck. Put that there. Yeah, I definitely think I should have, uh, broken this down a little bit more. It's definitely put 
put a piece back here and I think that's going to be the end of it because I think there's enough of that in there now. I should have one of my wipes out to, uh, I'm going to take some of this apart. Because I don't like I don't like how much we've got. So well, that looks pretty cool. Kind of eerie. One can hope, eh? When all is said and done. I think what I might do, I want to catch another piece. First I want to get a white wet white boat. Because I'm getting risen all over the place on my hands. I think I'm going to take another small piece of that part that I brought out in the first place. I'm going to put a little piece over here because I, I think it looks really cool. I'm kind of hoping it keeps its color as that greenish because I think that looks cool. Um, keep, keep knocking things over again. Oh, and <laughs> Oh, I get so excited. I was in the dollar store and I found a tray stand that's going to work for the tabletop that I made. Isn't that exciting? I was in and I looked and I went, oh, this will work. And it's not as big, but I don't have to make anything. And now I can flip it from one side to the other whenever the mood strikes me. So I thought that was pretty exciting. So it was Dollarama that I got it in. And I'll have to show you. It was in the kitchen section, just to let you know. It was in the kitchen section in Dollarama. So in case you make one and you don't, you, you're sort of like me, it's like, ooh, but I like both sides and I want to be able to flip this from time to time. Well, now I'm going to be able to. I bought two of them, so if I make another tray, I can do the same thing. I mean, it's, it doesn't look fancy, it's kind of cheap looking, but that's not the point. The point is, I don't have to make anything now, and I can flip it from side to side. So, I thought that was pretty exciting. And some of you are going, so what tray, because I haven't seen that video, you have to go back. It was uh, two or three ago. Uh, I'm trying to think, this is Thursday. That was Monday. I want to say it was either the Thursday or Saturday. But anyway, not that many back. So, um, you know what? I want to get this stuff out of my way. Seriously got to get organized. All right. Now, 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 we have our moss in there. I'll cover it behind the tree. I don't think I want to do that. So let's just pour this in. And we'll very carefully do it. And I'll start maybe up here. I want to make sure the moss, I don't want it to move. If I have to bring it back into play, I will. Like, move it around, I will. And we'll just slowly pour this. So I'm trying to debate about if I do a, like a dark color on this just to fi fill it up, finish filling it up. And if I like, if I do black, then my, you know, gray moss isn't going to show up very well. But you don't want a really light color either. You want something that, yeah, it's going to look coolish. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. Maybe you could put something in the comments and see where I'm going to end up and what I'm going to end up doing. I know how much you love doing that. Yeah, there's another piece of gray. So yeah, that's sort of my next predicament is now what? With the uh, with the very bottom of it. I almost think in some ways, well, and two, I've still got to be careful. I mean, I've got my skull over here, but I guess if this other resin has set a little bit, you know, I'll be okay, but I, I don't want any of, I don't want color to get immersed underneath any of my, I mean, I guess if you get a little bit, it won't matter. Anyway. 
Yeah, you know me. I'll come up with an idea and then I'll change my mind and come back and say, oh, well, I did this instead. <laughs> Keep you on your toes. And I guess the other thing I need to think about a little bit is uh, if I'm going to put a color on here and I haven't completely covered, but you know, if I let it set enough, so, uh, so let me complete my thought. If I go in with the color and my moss isn't completely covered, then I run the risk, obviously. Not a, it's not a big deal that I'm going to have that color go between the spaces that have nothing in them. Which isn't a big deal because it might make it look more realistic, more cool, more fanciful. Uh, you know, that's so that might not be a big deal. If I let it sit for a couple hours, I could potentially put some stones in it. Like I don't want to put them in right now. I want to let this sit and harden up a little bit. Gosh, there's just so many possibilities. When you think about what you could potentially do, like just endless, it really is. In some ways it's endless what you could do. It's endless. And I was thinking too, maybe a translucent color so you could see all the way through. I think that's all of my resin, so I'll just put you off to the side. So I had thought of a solid color, but I don't know if I want to do solid. I'm thinking translucent might be kind of cool. Um, glow in the dark hits me upside the head too with the possibility of an idea so that the, you know, the bottom part of it would glow and you know, potentially in and through some of this um, where there are holes and whatnot. I don't know what color I would do. I don't know what color I would do. So that's where we're at right now. That's where we are right now. I like this stuff sitting on the top. I really think it looks cool. I'm going to pull this piece up a little bit more so it's more there. This guy, I think. I'll throw you over here so you're sort of with the... I was going to say snowman. Oh my gosh. Talk about having your seasons off. Here, whatever's... Definitely lots of gray, eh? But that's okay. I'm just trying to make it not look forced. All right. And this guy's gonna sit down there. He's not gonna move anyway. Okay, now what I need to figure out is what I want to do. Yeah, do I do a translucent? Do I do a glow in the dark? I could do a neon, but I think a neon would be too bright of a color. But I don't want to lose the gray. I don't want to lose the coloring of the gray. Which I might end up doing if I put on like a dark color. You're probably going, can you stop touching this stuff? Yeah, that's better. It's just finding the right spot. I swear, if, you, if you're anything like, like when you get into doing this stuff, it's like, I just need this to be in just the right spot, to just look the right way. And I get, I mean, I get it. I do it all the time. All right, stop fiddling. Okay, I'm going to figure out what I should do next. And... I guess my big hope is that once we pull this out of the mold that it it shows up the way I want it to versus the way it did last year when I did this piece. Alrighty, I'll go 
mull for a couple hours well I won't take that long what I want to do and then we will come back and if I had to guess resin wise I want to say a hundred but I don't think a hundred is going to be enough but I'll figure that well randomly figure that out <laughs> I'll see in a bit I truly think sometimes I shouldn't be left to my own devices anyway we're back and I have added, I know, more to, well, when I say more, let's say I've added one piece. I wanted to put, I actually wanted to put some uh, fake diamond pieces I had in, in here, but I didn't. However, I was over in my other room doing something and I cut out this piece and I also cut it out in a piece of wax paper. I was trying to figure out if anyone's out there who does card making, I find it extremely difficult to cut out intricate, like using dies that cut out intricate pieces because it doesn't always work. Anyways, one of the suggestions was to use wax paper. I reverse engineered it because the way they said didn't work for me. So I took the wax paper piece and I actually put it into my piece and I think it kind of looks kind of funky and you may be sitting there going, you're out of your mind and can you just stop? So what are we going to do? <laughs> well, we're not stopping because I can't. <laughs> anyway, I have decided to use some alcohol dyes to finish this up. And yeah, you can't see them all, but I have two, four, six, seven of them here. And you're going like, what are you doing? You're going to mix these up? What are you going to do? No, I'm not. What I want to do is I actually want to pour some resin in, you know, do like little droplets of the alcohol ink and then put more resin over top of it. One of the things I want to do, and I didn't do it, I, I was good. I wanted to take some of this mix uh, snow cap by Tim Holtz Ranger and sort of drop it on some of the gray and I, I, held, I held back. You should be very proud of me about that because I was so, so tempted to do it, but I didn't. Anyway, it is setting up, the resin is setting up nicely, which is beautiful. So we're just going to pour a little bit of this. Now, I will admit, I'm not going to lie to you, I have put some, you know, glitter in my resin. It's a, sort of a combination of, let's see, some brown, green, silver, maybe some gold in there. It was some I got from a garage sale, so I just mixed it all together and I just took some of it and I threw it in here. So there you go. <laughs> I really shouldn't be left alone. But anyway, so let's pour some of this resin in. And when I put this wax piece in, let me turn this around so you can see what I'm doing so you don't have to just see my hand. When I put the wax piece in, I actually pushed it down in spots so it would be held in place because wax paper is obviously very, very fine, very flimsy, and I wanted to make sure it was stuck down so when I put resin in like I'm doing right now, we wouldn't have it flying all over the place. So we'll just pour some of this down, and I'm just going to, I'm just randomly throwing this wherever. I have mixed up approximately 160 mils. Seriously, seriously hoping this is enough because the making of this video is running longer than I want it to be. So I'm, I'm really, really hoping that this is enough. If not, off camera, I'll make up some more just because I've, I've got to get this done. Some of these pieces, I mean, this is being a layered piece. It's taking me longer than if I just, you know, done a normal piece and made it one color and just poured, poured it, right? But I think you're learning by now. That's not who I am. It's not who I am. And I'm okay with that. Makes it more interesting with you. Gives you more ideas. Keeps me out of trouble. So I want to start with the white. I have mixed these up. And I just, I just want to sort of randomly place. I'm not doing anything sort of... And I thought the white might be kind of nice over top of the gray to just give it a little bit of, I don't know what, but I want to try my, well, and it, sh it shouldn't be an issue, right? I kind of want to keep 
it from going like the colors going too too far down if you will into the piece I just kind of want them floating around uh, now I have some Laguna yeah I didn't I know I was having a hard time trying to figure out about the should I what what should I be doing with this from a coloring perspective and so I just thought well I'll just do this and we'll see where we land at the end of the day and if we get some ghoulish kind of ghosty colors then that's cool too right okay so we'll pour some more resin on this it almost looks like I'm doing Christmas here really what was I thinking <laughs> Get a little crazy, eh? You just don't, sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes you just gotta play. I had thought a little bit about throwing the resin or not throwing yeah throwing the resin in the resin right I've got some slate I want to put in here like just dumping some of the alcohol ink into the the resin itself and I want to put some gold in here and then just doing like a, a mini sort of pour with it my gold always comes out way too fast And I don't, I, I don't know how much I, I really don't know how much I want. I'm just sort of amusing myself now. I'm kind of hoping the alcohol ink will do something fun at the end of the day, but I don't know. Got it. <laughs> A piece of something on the side of that. Gonna, I have green. Let's do some of this blue. This is monsoon. I'm really hoping this turns out so much better than what I got last year. Last year was really a disappointment. A little bit of weight in here. Uh, weight. Now nah, I got enough gold. Let's put that there, and that'll be enough for the weight. All right. I think we've added enough color to this. And I might try and sort of swirl it around if I can without creating too much of a travesty of this no okay now Natalie has to pay attention last thing Natalie needs is this going over the edge I'm just trying to I'm turn it for you and for me too because I'm trying to see from an edging perspective where I am because it's a little lower over here so I think I'm going to raise that up just a smidge because it seems to be flowing to this corner too much. Overboard now, do we? And I take this and just put this under a little bit too just to get a little bit more to the edge. And that looks a little bit better. It's not, it seems a little better now. Okay, so before I do anything else, give me this. So I'm just, oops, let go. Kind of like what that white's doing, but that's okay. You know, I look at that and I think maybe I shouldn't have put it in, but. <laughs> Can't caught on that. <laughs> getting caught up in my wax paper if you're wondering what the heck I'm laughing at 
I might have to sand some of this down at the end of the day. I'll push that down the wax paper so it's more in. Right? It just needs it's so it's so lightweight it should be okay being pushed down like that. The weight of the resin hopefully will hold it down for me. And again, if I have to, you know, sand it a little bit, then I sand it a little bit. Push that down. I think it's going to keep rising. Let's see if I, and I, I'm getting a couple of bubbles. That's okay. Yeah, I think I might have to smooth that out. I am getting bubbles, but that's again, that's okay. I can deal with bubbles. Bubbles are easy to get rid of. Or, oh, maybe it's not bubbles. Maybe, ha, huh, maybe it's my wax paper. It might have been my wax paper. And I guess, okay, so there's a really good tip. Alcohol and flame don't mix. I'll have to spray it. Very, you know what? I should have known that, so don't do that. Oops, put that down. Okay, let's stop playing. I'm going to pour a little bit more resin on this. And the leftover, I'll find something to throw it into. Don't I always? I'll, I'll see if I can't figure out how much is left and then we'll, we'll know for next time. Because I did 60, then I did 100, and now I'm doing 160. And I know I'm going to have more than I need. And I'm just sort of scattering it on here. I don't know. I think this is going to look kind of cool. Oh, you know what we could do? I I got my... Yeah, I do here. Have it. I don't know how this is going to work and if I'm going to just make a complete mess if I do it. But let's see. Okay. That's enough resin. I'm not going to put any more resin in this. I'm going to see if I can reach without, you know, dragging you with me. I don't know if this is going to work. So we have this. Yeah, I don't think this is going to do much of anything. I don't really want to throw my resin anywhere. If I'm lucky, the white will maybe do something and not just sit. But if it just sits, it just sits, and then maybe I should make a note. Don't ever do that again, right? I almost want to put slate on top of it. You know what? I might just do that. So, I don't know what it's going to do, so let's just put a drop of slate on that one and see what it does. Because if it, it sort of opens it, like whatever, yeah, see, so can you see how it's spreading it out there? Which is kind of cool. Put a drop there. If it dissolves it, that's kind of cool. And then if the white comes back over top, that's fine. It's almost like it's sort of dispersing the white a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. Okay. We won't play with it anymore. We'll leave it like that. There's my little spritzer. And we'll spray it. So I've found in the past, so let's see if this works. If I spritz it, I'll get some, some action going on. And if I had, again, you got to sand, you got to sand. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on over here. I think it's just pieces that are sticking up. I really think that's all that is. It's the moss that's sticking up. That's what that is. All right. So we wait. Me a while, you not so long. And Fingers crossed, this looks this looks better than it did last year. 
And I'm really, I'm really, really hoping, I got my fingers crossed that the pieces that have been put down here at the bottom, because they were the first ones put in, that it, like they just, you can see them through. That'd be so cool. If not, then this mold isn't meant to do this, and next time I'll just do it a solid color and be done with my life. Um, <laughs> I know, it doesn't that, that sounds so dramatic. But I wanted to try it again because I knew how I'd messed it up last year, and hopefully um, we're better this year. All we can do is so. hope. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we're not done. You're going to stick around till the end. <laughs> not being too demanding, am I? Anyways, it's the end of the day for me. I've got to let you go. Got to do something with the rest of this resin. I will see you when it's time to demold, and I'm going to try and remember the the thing I bought to put my tray on. Tray holder? Yeah. Anyway, hopefully I'll remember that, and I can show you that before we demold this. I'll see you then. Are you ready for this to be taken out? I'm, I'm excited about it and I'm scared about it all at the same time. Just because of how the piece last year went versus sort of how we've constructed this piece this year. I, I will have to sand this. It's got some bumps in the top of it, so it's not completely flat. And I definitely want it out of the mold to do that. And then I'll figure out about uh, putting a top coat on it. But before I do that, I did want to share with you the stand that I got for my ceramic resin and resin table. So you'll remember this and you'll notice that there's been some stuff that I took off of it because it wasn't looking the way I wanted it to and I haven't figured out what I'm doing in this space yet and I will. So this is the stand and it's about the same length as what this piece is, the table piece is. It's got these cool little uh, rubber pieces on the bottom to keep it from sliding. And is it going to sit on here? Maybe it will. And I don't know if my camera is going to allow you to see it, but uh, sort of yes, sort of no. And then just on top. So I can flip this either way now, depending on, you know, what, what is floating my boat on any given day. But I wanted to share that with you just so you knew. And again, I got this at Dollarama and pay three dollars for it and how wide is that i'm not really sure i haven't measured it but i just wanted to share this with you so you could see what i've gotten just in case you want to or are interested in making one of your own and i i do appreciate that not every store has the same stuff in it and i will have to be a little careful with what i put on top of it but i love that i've got space underneath it as well so there's a little plug for that little stand. So let's get this out of here. And see how it came out, whether we can see anything. And the mold itself may not lend itself to really seeing anything, and I don't think it is really. Oh, maybe a little bit. Like the texture on this is probably making it more challenging. If this was a clear, a clear mold, like it didn't have all these ridges around here, it'd probably be better. You can see a little bit more in the bottom than you can, but you, we're not without being able to see things, which is kind of cool, which I like. So we've got a rose here that you can see. You've got a small skull. My, my buddy here with the uh, fly in his eye, I mean, I guess the, the brilliance of this piece would be that if you don't see things right away, eventually you may find or see things. Oh, oh, that's too cute. I'll get to him in a minute. Uh, so my fly with the skeleton, there's another small rose here, and I don't know how to really uh, tilt this so you can see it. Uh, the bones, the two skulls, the really small ones, one here, one here. Now I do have a big air hole here. I'm going to have to put my other glasses on and go around and, and uh, deal with air holes on this. My, oh, now did that? No, that's okay. So I was thinking my eyes had flipped around the heaven, but my nose, I have an air hole there, which kind of makes sense, right? Because you breathe through your nose. I know, my humor. But you can see the eyes kind of cool. The, the rest in peace, now they didn't come out too, too badly. There's a rose there. 
we've got that which you can see the white cross my tree is is really kind of hidden like you can kind of see the star here but the tree and I don't know it's right here in the corner and unless you really get in the right angle you can't see it as well as if it was a different color that might have helped so the gold on the rest or it's was it gold or copper I can't remember that I used on these makes these stand out better uh, another rose my bat <laughs> you can kind of see him another skull which looks oh you can kind of see you, you can see him because he's bright so I think the big thing with this you're gonna have to have pieces that go in this that are really bright and stand out um, solid colors I think are the best but not bad not bad definitely better than last year's uh, attempt at this and then we've got the center and actually what I'm impressed with in here is the fact that I figured that I would have air holes in here because of the moss that I threw down but let me put my other glasses on and see I mean I might have some minor tiny ones but I don't think I have anything too major in there I mean I've got you know the pumpkin nose I, I need to fill that in oh and my rest in peace here we need to put some resin on top of it and yeah I've got a, 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 oh, an air bubble there <laughs> I am I'm not awake as I'm sort of doing this I had a bit of a rough night but anyway so yeah I mean and, and then we've got the white from the alcohol that I've put in my description not to use that in this stuff because it doesn't it doesn't work properly but all in all I mean I have to admit that at least this came out better than it did last year it came out better now what I'm liking too is I've got some air bubbles in the eyes of the skulls that's kind of cool that's kind of cool but all in all and this and then the side let's have a look at the side because we really haven't done that it's definitely got some nice shading to it I th I think personally I think uh, there's my other star now it is I wonder you know one thing I'm thinking about is I wonder what would happen if I got some resin because this is a a matte mold I might just try that out if I were to take some resin and just put it over top if it would bring it out bring them out more which it may very well do so there's something I might play with is to do it and if I do that I will post pictures on my being intentionally creative page to see because that might just be enough to bring it up and what I could do just to test is just do around with some UV resin is just do around and see if it pulls up pulls it up but you know what all in all hey it turned out better than the last one I did that's for sure that's for sure so let me know in the comments what you think and again if I I, I may to just take some time and put some some of the other resin like the UV resin around the top of that and just see if I can't pull it out so you can see more anyway thank you for staying tuned if you have till the end of this video it has been a bit long because we had to layer it uh, as we went through it and I'd like to know what you think and it'd be you know what I know I'm talking here's another one of my flies it would be so cool to see some of these things in here so cool I mean I don't have to do the whole thing I could just do just do around here if I'm going to be filling in some of the air pockets anyway just because but not uh, better we're, we're on our way people we are on our way anyway thank you for staying tuned if you have till the end let me know what you think if you've ever thought of doing something like this again we're getting into Halloween and I do have some pieces I need to get done and this is just a start thank you for all your comments for liking and subscribing and we're growing as a channel and I really appreciate you helping me do that take care and bye for now.